Lady Macbeth. Funny, I did not know Lady Macbeth slept. A, uh, slept. Yeah, I'm sure she slept too. Slipped a couple Mickeys. Uh, at UChicago, a bar, a tavern near UChicago. Yeah, in terms of Mickey's, we were discussing flashback with a man, bartender, cook in the kitchen, resembled Kiefer Sutherland. Said that Mickey's? That's not funny. Flashback? Is in terms of there's acid in that? I had to get CAT scans. Okay, and I had to get CAT scans for a Mickey at College of, the, College of the Atlantic. It's on my credit rating, University of Chicago Billings Hospital, in an ambulance. Mickeys are not funny. I know Shakespeare Macbeth is cool, like, yo, give him a Mickey. Ron Howard, on Happy Days, was given a Mickey. He lost Lori Beth, and if that was live on television in 1984, he was Mickey. He lost Lori Beth, left, joined joined the military, and never came back to Happy Days. When a person is hit with a Mickey, um, it's kind of hard to go back into public. People will not forgive you, and they do not know. And then we'll say, well, you were on a lot of drugs. And in terms of Dead and Company and uh, David Gilmore, David Gilmore, there's no way out of here the chance you took. Uh, the hippies would say, hey, you took that chance when you took that drug. That's your choice. Uh, the Dead and Company, written by Ro- Robert Hunter, if you fall, you fall alone. Uh, the actual lyrics. All right. If you should, st- and if you should stand, the- if you fall, you fall your own. That- what is that? Uh, Jerry Garcia saying, if you don't take this acid, we will never forgive you. Um, that will be uh, Terrapin Station. I will not forgive you if you will not take the chance. Oh yes, Jerry, we will take your little square of paper, or you will never forgive us. And then we find out we can't get into the military or be in law enforcement. Because we did that, but I would say what I learned on campus at U Chicago is that the military has their own brand of acid. It's camouflage, and they're using it medically. I don't touch the stuff. I'm disorganized schizophrenic. In terms of Mickey's, I got hit in the head with a squirt gun on tour with a rock band called Bikini Atoll, appointed by the military in Bar Harbor during WMDI, and we said, what is in that? You hit him in the head with a squirt gun. The guy goes, what do you think? It's a good thing I had prophylactis for drugs with antipsychotics, or else I would have been a vegetable. Mickey's are not funny. Mickey's are not funny at all. Okay, sea monsters. I would like to address Natalie Wood. Growing up, heart to heart. A TV show, Mr. Hot and Mrs. Hot. I know the butler should be referred to as the last name. As in the Brady Bunch, she Miss Davis instead of Mrs. Mr. Brady. It's the butler. I, my name is Albert. I come from a long line of but- butlers. I'm referred to as Mr. Deal when I'm washing dishes. Um, they're like, oh, Al, let's get out. No, Mr. Hart, Mrs. Hart is the butler. That should be referred to as the last name. But Robert Wagner <laughs> on Seinfeld called him an anti-dentite. I love dentistry. And in the dentist, I discussed Natalie Wood. She was thrown overboard. As in, in the Church of Scientology, in Secor, when they threw you overboard, Natalie Wood was thrown overboard, and she drowned. This happened to um, a colleague of mine at College of the Atlantic. He fell overboard and drowned. They said it was fireball. There were drugs involved. It was on WABI. I was in Ellsworth at the time. I hadn't seen him in a long time. I hadn't seen him in 10 years. I just saw it on the news. And I said it figures. They party that hard. They don't care. They went out with a bang. Heroin's great, but die of hepatitis C and see people keep people's careers ruined with the likes of P. Diddy because they didn't care about using clean needles. It isn't that the drug kills you. It's that negligence in using the drug. I don't approve of it. I read Naked Lunch on a medical facility under close supervision of a doctor. It's great. And I found love with my wife. The girl lives. And no, I did not kill my wife. My wife is happy as a clam. If I ever feel like I hurt my life, I think of the Blade Runner in the Olympics in his court case. He says, no, my lady. It calls my lady. If I ever hurt my girl emotionally in a text, that's the way I feel. For I would never hurt anybody. There's a rumor outside you, Chicago, that there was a gun that went off packing it up and the man murdered his wife and won the case. 
I feel like that evolved itself into my universe of Burroughs and Burroughs Computers on the medical unit where I was staying, and they were run by Burroughs Computers. William Burroughs with the words appearing on the page. But Natalie Wood, according to Penthouse Magazine, Bob Guccione, Hard Times, the article, I read it for the article, Natty Wood, Natalie Wood is alive. So it's be called Natty Wood? Cool, let's get a Natty Daddy for Natalie Wood. I believe in Natalie Wood. You know, brainstorm. Get my headgear, go my dentistry. I'm not an anti-dentite. I got my headgear to match a girl who had headgear. And she was, I saw her at a protest, protesting the Strategic Defense Initiative. I don't know why. And they took her away in a paddy wagon. And that's the last I ever saw of her. Law enforcement said, this is what you wanted, right? They wanted me to chant and say, like, other chants were fuck it up, shut it down. They were like, all that stuff, you know. Your business has no place, place. Star Wars first trick plan, get out of space. Am I going on a tangent? My rap for my girl that reminded me of Nigelin Wood was, Ronald Reagan, he's our man. If he can't do it, George Bush can. And they gave me a frown. And that was my experience with the protesters on my work at Navy Pier, as you have seen from the footage of Mayor Harold Washington. Is Natalie Wood alive? In mythology, she was thrown overboard. God save Natalie Wood. The art of the book in music history, which I am studying concurrently with us. Um, after this course, I'm uh, moving on to U.S. history. Um, I study under Kurt Vonnegut. The, the point is was that Vonnegut had a history requirement. In order to break his instrument requirement to get a career, he actually said he graduated. Do not try this at home. For the woman who handed him his honorary doctorate saw him lighting a cigarette. And she said, I'll light one. And he gave her a look. Just because Kurt Vonnegut says he graduated U Chicago to live as a war hero, Purple Heart, that Vonnegut is. And he was junior. And now it just says Kurt Vonnegut. It was junior with an exclamation point in that text. Uh, the idea of print, um, the original print, there was original music print, which was... Uh, Pretty much a staff line. There weren't round round circles on the on the notes. They were squares, and it was medieval print. It was primitive. The original music kind of looks like tablature in a way. People write in their own scales and their own language, musical language. People say Steve Vai wrote in his own musical language. Uh, there's tablature, you know, which is all percussive. For those who, I don't know want to look at it and find it you can't read it flat out but music has been around forever <laughs> the actual print I did not know it was on uh, actual animal hide with animal blood that goes beyond cave paintings um, the text on the actual uh, evolution of the printing press Gutenberg <laughs> Gutenberg you remember I remember being back at school and we had a printing press and a mimeograph it's working for the newspaper and we just roll them out. It was called the Kimbark Post. Well, it was called the Kimbark Post, but originally I was in second grade, and the the, the big the big like fourth graders came down and said it's Ray School at University of Chicago. Why don't you call it the Ray Paper? The Ray Paper, and they put me up to saying it was. And uh, to tell you the truth, um, I didn't know the joke because I was in second grade. Schaefer, the teacher, freaked out that day. She had a meltdown. And it became the Kimbark Post. 